Hi all, today we'll simplify fractions with you and we'll explore two examples together showing how to simplify fractional data. Let's get started. The initial example, which is the first one, dates back to the year 1648. Once again, guys, I remind you that you have the ability to simplify fractions using any method that is convenient for you. You can locate the highest common factor and then divide the given number by the highest common factor. And as a result, you will have only one action remaining. For example, in this case, the greatest common divisor of the numbers 16 and 48 is the number 16. And then I have the ability to divide 16 by 16, and furthermore, I can divide 48 by 16 as well. This allows me to calculate the quotient of these divisions and obtain the desired results. It is extremely crucial that when dividing the numerator and denominator, you ensure they have the identical number. And then 16 divided by 16 will equal 1, 48 divided by 16 will equal 3. And it turned out that the fraction was 1 third. Alternatively, you can find the common divisors if that's what you need to do. There are a multitude of them present in this location. There are a multitude of common divisors of 16 and 48. You have the option to divide them by 2. You have the possibility to divide by 4. Additionally, you have the opportunity to divide by 8, and so forth. And then you will still obtain an irreducible fraction. Well, let's try. 16, 48. I divide 16 by 2 and I divide 48 by 2. And then I calculate 16 divided by 2, which equals 8, and 48 divided by 2, which equals 24. We can continue to further divide. We can also divide by 2, but we can also divide by 4. We have multiple options for division. The division of 8 by 4 results in 2, and the division of 24 by 4 yields 6. Nevertheless, it is still possible to reduce 2 sixths by dividing it by 2. And then we'll have an irreducible fraction, which is 1 third. And in this case, and in this case, it turned out to be the same. The only thing, once again, I would like to draw your attention to the recording. On occasion, the subsequent notation is employed namely 1648, as a means of representation. They exhibit division here. We divide by two, and here is the outcome of the division process. We divide the number by two. As a result, it turns out to be 8 24. And then you can divide, for example, by eight, if you want to further reduce the value. And this denominator can also be divided by eight and then we will get 8 divided by 8. It will be 124 divided by 8. It will be 3. As you can see, in all cases, we got the same number. That is 1 third. I would like to consider another very important example that allows us to talk about reducing the fraction. Consider the fraction 2 fifths. It needs to be reduced. Let's work on reducing it together. What course of action should be taken in this particular case? The issue at hand is that the divisors of the number two are only one and two, without any additional factors or possibilities. The numbers that evenly divide the number five are one and five. These are the divisors of the number five. As a result, it turns out that the common divisor, which is the same for both numbers, is one indicating that one is the only divisor that is common to both numbers. However, if I perform the division operation of two divided by one and five divided by one, the result will still be two fifths. Therefore, in cases where the common divisor is one, it is not necessary to reduce this fraction. That is, the fraction 2 fifths cannot be further simplified and is irreducible. This is... 
fraction that cannot be simplified. In addition, another point that is very important. If you are unable to find the greatest common divisor, let us take a look at the next incredible discovery that awaits us. What do I perceive? When I decrease it by two initially, then by four and once more by two, what transpires as a consequence of these reductions? I decrease the value by two, then I further decrease the value by four, and then I decrease it by two more times. And if I perform multiplication on these numbers, I obtain a total of 16 as the final result. 16 is the greatest common divisor. This is the technique you can utilize to simplify fractions. Next class, we'll revisit this topic. That's it for today. Goodbye until we meet again.